tricky little period, Charlton are coming strong again, and a former teammate of yours had a pretty inspirational day, Brian. Yeah, that's right. I think he just signed during the, the, the midweek and uh, making his debut, and it's Danny Mills who pops out. I think it's the first time he's actually been over the halfway line this season, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure uh, Alan Kovic will be like, delighted with his new signing, and, and you know, it's, it's a great move for him, and uh, they're, they're flying high at the top of the league as well. They're so good at home. This was an excellent away win for them. Uh, next weekend, you go to the Valley, Pierre. Yeah, it's uh, another very important game for us, and yeah, hopefully uh, we get a result there, but it won't be easy, that's they, for sure. They beat you in the cup, didn't they, quite comprehensively? Yeah, they did, but uh, in that game, we uh, didn't, uh, didn't have our best team out. <laughs> you were saving yourselves for the league. Yeah, and hopefully that's paying off, but it will be a difficult game, that's for sure. It certainly will. So many sides are still in danger. We reckon that 11 teams could still go down. Reading, Stoke and Manchester City in the drop zone at the moment. Then Portsmouth, Port Vale, Tranmere, QPR, Bury, Norwich, not out of it by any means. Huddersfield and Crewe still can't consider themselves safe. We reckon that Bradford in 13th are just about OK. Top half. Oxford United going down, but they'll be very pleased with that position nonetheless. Swindon, West Brom, Stockport, Wolves, Birmingham just outside. Then into the playoff positions, Sheffield United, Ipswich, Charlton and Middlesbrough. A win for them today against Norwich will take them above Sunderland into second place. Sitting proudly on top, Pierre van Hooydonk's Nottingham Forest.